Hi, welcome back to the Arcade Repair Tips video series. Today we're going to talk about push buttons. They may look simple, but they're actually a little bit more to it than you might think. So, a lot of times when you see these on a game, it works real simple. As you push down, the little cherry switch is being pressed by the button. Well, a lot of times there's two wires that will go to almost any button. But as you might notice, there are three places to put them in. So, where do the two wires go? Well, a lot of that depends on what you want to do with the push button. If you want it to do something when the button is pressed, let's say, for instance, we're playing a fighting game and you want to punch. If you want it to do the action when you push the button, then you need to wire it up on the very bottom two. Simple enough. Therefore, when you push the button, it makes continuity in here and sends a signal back to your board what to do. Now there are a few instances when you want the action to happen when you let go of the button. So not when you're pushing down, but when you push up. If that's the case, then you want to use the outside too. Make sense? This action, in other words, if I was going to punch, wouldn't punch until I let go. But 99% of arcade games and the things that you're going to use buttons for are going to be when you push the button so it should be wired up on the bottom two like that. Here we have the inside of a button. I don't know if you've ever taken one apart but this is what happens. It basically looks kind of like a little diving board in there and as you push it it either makes continuity with the top one as I let it go it makes continuity with the bottom one. So depending on where you wire it is what it tells your game what to do. Again, very simple, but if you've never done one before, maybe it's something that you didn't know. Well, now you do. Thank you for watching and tune in for more videos. 